Hey, what's up, you beautiful nerd gods and geek goddesses? Welcome to another episode of The Geek Master, where we love all things geek more than Deathstroke would love to have his right eye back. As usual, I'm your host, Cassius Samuels, and today we are going to talk about the recent news reports about the CW's Flash series. So, jumping right in, according to reports released by TV Line today on December 16th, 2015, the CW has apparently begun casting calls for yet another speedster by the name of Eliza Harmon, and they plan to introduce this character into the Flash universe around episode 16 or so. Eliza Harmon, also known as Trajectory from the comics, is a lesser known character who debuted in the DC comic series titled 52, which was published in 2006, and she was basically a character that was a lifelong fan of Kid Flash, aka Wally West, who was also just introduced to the show this season, who received superpowers herself through Lex Luthor's Everyman Project, which was a project designed to grant superpowers to non-metahumans. She was subsequently killed off in the same series as well, which was probably why she's a lesser known character, unless you're an avid DC fan who read this story, which was written by a bunch of good writers like uh, Grant Morrison, Jeff Johns, I believe, was involved with it, and a couple other good writers. But anyway, my initial thought when hearing this news for the first time was, what's the point? So far this season, The Flash has introduced Jay Garrick, Zoom, Wally West, and Jesse Quick, which if you can't count, equals four new speedsters. So I figure, what's the point of introducing the fifth at this point, to be honest? Adding a fifth speedster when we have hardly had any time to develop the four speedsters that we've been introduced to this season, whom I might add don't even have their powers yet, just makes me feel like the show is moving a little too fast. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, but moving on, uh, when I heard this news, it honestly made me feel like it was kind of overkill adding a fifth speedster, um, especially for a show only in the second season. I would really hate to see them start forcing storylines into this one hour show because in the end, it might begin to start feeling overcrowded like Arrow does from time to time. But on the flip side, I do understand that just because she's being introduced this season, it doesn't mean that she will be included in any of the major arcs, or even that she will get any speedster ability. In the end, I really don't care if they have a million speedsters on the show. It's, to me, it's just about the quality and content of the show. As long as it's not forced and the story makes sense, I'm cool with it. My immediate next thought was, I wonder how they plan on introducing her as a speedster to the Flash universe where there has been no mention of Lex Luthor anywhere on this show. Um, for a show that's done its best to stick to the source material as much as possible, even though there are major deviations from the source material, I think this character presents a unique challenge in a way that none of the other characters have as far as integrating her in a way that doesn't convolute the story in an apathetic way. How do you give a speech to her powers when she got her powers from a character that doesn't technically exist in your universe because you have a confront? I mean, we know it's the DC universe. We know Lex Luthor is a part of the DC universe, but he hasn't been mentioned or confirmed in any way. It'd be kind of crazy just to throw some chick on there and use Lex Luthor in her backstory. So they'll probably have to toy around with that and make it different in the end. Other than that, I'm definitely interested to see how this plays out one way or the other. I love Speedsters, and I love the Flash television series, so I'm sure it will all work out in the end, or at least I hope I do. Uh, the way I see it, the direction they seem to be going can either make the show greater than it already is, or can be a shot in the foot that handicaps the show that's already dropping off in terms of quality when compared to its first season. Only time will tell though, so as usual, stay tuned to your man's The Geek Master for details as they become available. But with that being said, what do you guys think? Are you okay with the addition of another speedster to the show? Or do you think the CW should slow the fuck down, pump the brakes, and worry about developing the characters they already have on the roster? Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Also, if you found any value in this update, whether it be informative value or entertainment value, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and look me up on Facebook at The Geek Master. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I love you motherfuckers. Love your beautiful faces even though I can't see you. And I will see you motherfuckers next time. Holla, bitches. Peace.